Hi, I'm Katie Quintana. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do my top 20 book recommendations for babies and toddlers. Some of these books are from Usborne Books, so if you haven't heard of them, they're kind of like a direct sales company. I actually sell for them just because I love their books so much. I don't really sell, like actively seek out and sell, but I will link you to these books on the website so that you can buy them directly from there if you want, or you can find a direct sales person around you who sells them and you can order from them. So here are some of my suggestions. All the other books also, the other books um, I will just link to on Amazon if I can find the links for them. So that way you can easily find them if you want them. So Usborne Books has this great series called That's Not My. So this one's a That's Not My Monster. You can kind of see it's got all the touchy-feely fun things in there. So these ones are really cute and there's so many different ones. So. I highly recommend those. My babies and toddlers always pull them out. They love them. And then Osborne Burks also has these other two baby geared ones. These are slide and seize and the touch feel ones. So they also have little flaps and finger trails and things. And this one has um, the sliders so you can change your pictures and stuff. So my kids love these. For really little babies, infants and stuff, I highly re recommend these ones. There's On the Farm, there's one that's an ocean, and one that's numbers and counting, I think. But they have these wonderful black and white pictures, but you can pull them open. So they are great for tummy time. You can lay them flat or you can stick them up. And then on the back, it's a nice full colored picture. So they get a lot of use <laughs> at my house, obviously. We really love these for the babies. And then there's this new series out called Never Touch a Dinosaur. I found them, I, I've seen them at like Target and Walmart, but they also have them at like Sam's Club right now, had a whole bunch that I hadn't seen before. So they went on our Christmas list for baby. But they're these great like rubber texture ones with fun little pictures. So this was one of my daughter's favorite things when we went on a road trip this summer. She loved this book and sat in the car and just sat there and played with it the whole time. Well, not the whole time, because it was like a 14 hour drive, but <laughs> she really liked it. Um, another Osborne book is these Muddle and Match. So this one's the jungle animals. So it's like the fun stories. And I love the words they use in here. They use a lot of really descriptive language and like paddling the precarious Pacific, things like that. <laughs> so it is fun. Even my older kids will sit there. My elementary age kids will sit there and make the different designs. My 10 year old loves to read the stories and it really works on her vocabulary. So I highly recommend this for um, families with kids in all age groups. It's great. Then every baby and toddler needs a fun little animal book. So I like these ones that's kind of A through Z, gives you a lot of different animals. My kids like to use this book where they pick their favorite. So they're like, mom, which one's my favorite? And I have to go, are you picking the alligator? And they're like, oh, nope that's not it and so that's what we do for every single page and they love it so that's even the elementary students so we love these ones lots of great photos and a great way to start um, um, looking at letters and letter recognition and hearing the sounds but this book also has little questions that are great to help dig deeper into understanding books then we love these little interactive books. So I have them for pretty much every age range. So it's just like, oh, interact by tapping the page and doing things and counting and things will keep happening. These are really cute. So this is Tap the Magic Tree. This is another Usborne Books. It's a Jungle Sounds one. So, oh, it's not turned on. So it's got great photos and stuff. And then you can push all the little buttons So obviously kids really like that because they like the interactive sounds that go with it and I love the bright pictures. Then a favorite for lots is Little Blue Truck. It's super cute. So if you haven't seen them, they also have ones that are geared towards holidays like Little Blue Truck Christmas and things. So we actually have a couple of the holiday ones as well. But this is actually one of my husband's favorite ones to read to the kids. Then my baby's really loving this little tin little ladybug one lately. She likes anything that you know has where you can touch and feel and it works on counting so my toddler well he's not really a toddler now preschooler 
is working on all the counting on each page and things like that and the subtraction. So that's a really good one. Another Osborne book, this one's all better. So you have little band-aids and when somebody, so these are the little band-aids, they're removable stickers. So when somebody gets hurt on the page, they can take one of their stickers and they put it on the owie. So it's really just a fun little thing that's interactive and the kids really enjoy it. Then also another favorite is the Llama Llama books. So we have Red Pajama, that one's my favorite. We've read a number of them that we've got from the library, but this is by far my favorite because it's the cutest one. Well, in my opinion, it's the cutest one. This is another one of my husband's favorites to read to the kids because he likes to make it all rhymy and I don't know, he just reads it funny and the kids love it. So, but it's pretty, got, you know, these sparkly interactions and it does rhyme and so it's just a fun one to read. Then we love these different, you know, look and find ones. It's great for teaching your kids to look through the book and actually to look at what's going on in the story and to find things. Because that's something that actually is really helpful when you're learning to read is to be able to get things from your page. If you're trying to decipher a word, it's good if you can understand what's going on in the story and see the pictures and use that to help you in decoding words. Then classics are just little Dr. Seuss books. We like the little board books for the babies and toddlers just because they're so rough on them. These are actually the two that we have that are in the best condition, which is the reason I'm showing these ones instead of the other ones. But we love pretty much all the Dr. Seuss ones that we've found, so highly recommend any of those. And then this author, I think, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, Sandra Boynton. We love all of her books that we have found so far, but these are my kids' four favorites. And like you can see, they get used at our house. But doggies, it's just kind of little simple things, not hard stories, but they're fun, interactive. This one's more like a song, barnyard dance, and they're all dancing and singing. Pajama time, they love this one at bedtime. So we're, you know, getting ready for bed and all of that. And then also the going to bed book and what you have to do to be ready to go to bed. So these are some of our favorites that we read on a very regular basis. And then another classic is gonna be Brown Bear, Brown Bear. Definitely a must because babies and toddlers love it and it's great for practicing your colors and things. This is another cute book we like for bedtime, time for bed, and they like it because it's got babies for every different animal. So you're gonna see all of the different babies and they're all supposed to be going to bed. So it's really cute. Then here's another interactive book that we really like, the Don't Touch or Don't Push the Button. So that we have a couple of these and um, I even put another one up with the elementary age kid things because even my older kids like them. But it's talking about pushing the button and what happens when you push the button and things just go kind of crazy. And of course it makes the kids laugh and they think it's so funny. So really a great series. So if you look for some of the other books too, they're all good. And last, number 20, is If Animals Kiss Goodnight. We recently found this one at the library and it's really cute. So you can see all, again, all the babies and their mommies and daddies and they're all kissing goodnight and talking and so it's just adorable. So there we go. If you've liked this video and found it helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see the next videos that are coming out in the series of book recommendations for preschool and elementary and chapter books and things, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell for notifications so you'll know when those videos come out. Thanks. Bye.